Good afternoon. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about this tree, the Mauritius lychee, and the type of fertilizer I use to get good fruit. But first, if you like this type of channel, go ahead and click the like, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. I'll do my best to get back to you if you leave any comments. So yeah, let's take a look at this tree. So we're gonna revisit this tree that I have already done a video on uh, back in the fall, I believe it was. Um, but I noticed that I lost quite a few branches in the winter. Um, the, uh, the trees are naturally brittle, but I just think that this one is a little more brittle and I think it could be due to the lack of nitrogen in my fertilizer. So I've uh, upped my game and changed the fertilizer just a little tiny bit. And uh, we'll talk about that in a second, but let's take a look at these, uh, the flowers that are on it. Not as big as last year's clusters, but they are still looking like they're gonna hold on to some fruit. Um, I've changed my fertilizer, as I mentioned. I no longer just use 0 10, 10. Um, they do require a little bit of nitrogen, uh, even though I had seen on the internet that uh, you shouldn't put nitrogen on lychees. Um, I've decided to, uh, well, look at that cluster. It's beautiful, isn't it? Um, yeah, so I upped my game and decided to use the same type of fertilizer that I use on my um, long on tree. And you take a look here, and this long on tree, besides being huge, uh, it is loaded with flowers and it sets a lot of fruit. Um, I have been always used a different kind of fertilizer on this tree than I had on my lychee tree, just because I noticed that the lychees are a little more fertilizer sensitive than long ons. Long ons tend to also be a little more tolerant than it, with our city water than lychee trees are. Lychees tend to be a little funky when it comes to that or salty water. Um, you have to use a little gypsum. Hey, take a look at the uh, air layer. It's coming along just fine. I think I got about another month before I can uh, separate it. And I'll do another video. But yeah, this uh, long on tree is just wonderful. I, I tell you. Uh, I think those that want to try exotic trees, uh, tropical trees, should probably start with the long one because they are pretty tough, at least in my experience. So the long ones doing so well, I decided to uh, change to this uh, Job's fertilizer. It's organic and uh, it has low nitrogen, but it does have some nitrogen. And so I've decided to start using this on my lychee tree as well as my long line. Um, it's organic, as I mentioned, it has all sorts of good beneficial bacteria and mycorrhiza that uh, helps the uh, tree take in fertilizer. Uh, yeah, it's just a, a really good fertilizer. It doesn't, it isn't, fertilized, the tree doesn't take the nutrition up very quickly like uh, uh, man-made fertilizers, but in the long run, I think, especially for trees like this that don't really require a lot of nitrogen, uh, this was working just fine. I very gently sprinkle a little bit of uh, this uh, fertilizer around the uh, base of my trees. The long on obviously gets more because it's a bigger tree, but this lychee tree I put like a handful or so down. Uh, you don't want to put it close to the trunk and uh, you want to water it in very, very well. Uh, so if you can find this fertilizer, and I think I got this at uh, either Lowe's or Home Depot, give it a try. Uh, I like the uh, beneficial bacteria and mycorrhiza that they have in it. Uh, you can't go wrong when it comes to that. So if you like this channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button and you have a good day.